There are commands everywhere. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. I just, sometimes I just get so amazed. Um, People will say, I don't think you should be talking about the pursuit of joy. I think you should be talking about serving Jesus and obeying Jesus. This this joy stuff is just, I say, what Bible do you read? (laughs) Serve the Lord with gladness. Serve the Lord with gladness. This is not rocket science. This is clear. Serve the Lord with gladness. There is a kind of service he doesn't like. Murmuring service. Bored service. Glum service. Serve the Lord with gladness. This is biblical. Are we a biblical people or just get our truths from our emotions or non-emotions? Psalm 32, 11, Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, O righteous. Shout for joy, all of you upright in heart. Psalm 37, 4, Delight yourself in the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. That's a command, not a suggestion. Like, if you don't want to delight in me, that's okay. Go ahead with your house, you know, or whatever. It's not, a, it's not an option. It's a command. Philippians 4.4, 4, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I will say rejoice. And he was writing from prison. And I want to underline and make sure I underline that you hear me say, Paul, when he writes like that, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. This man knew more suffering than all of you combined, probably. You read the list. I'll read you one of the lists. 2 Corinthians 6, as servants of God, we commend ourselves in every way by great endurance in afflictions, hardships, calamities, beatings. If you were beaten for Jesus, I would like to know who you are. Come up here and tell me I was beaten for Jesus and I will bow down and give thanks for you and your faith. Beatings, calamities, imprisonments, riots, labors, sleepless nights, hunger, through honor and dishonor, through slander and praise. We are treated as imposters and we're true. We're treated as unknown and yet well known. We're treated as dying and behold we live as punished and yet not killed. And here's the key phrase for me. As sorrowful yet always rejoicing. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? If that weren't in the Bible, I couldn't come to this conference. After that list, and that's the short list. The long one's in chapter 11. That's the short list of his pain. He said, sorrowful, but always rejoicing. 